this is the tube amplifier schematic that I've shown before in a first video and I now want to go to the details of the schematic this is the transformer it's in fact an old power supply transformer with a DC resistance of 700 ohms and 2 ohms on the 2 ohms side you can connect the speaker uh, this is the used tube, it's a ECL80, it's a triode pentode. This is the triode part, EOC3 uh, electrodes, EOC5 electrodes. So this is the, the tube. Uh, in America, as far as I could find it out, this is the 6AB8. But in fact you can use all kinds of triodes but keep in mind that one of the grids of the tube has to have uh, a negative voltage and this is applied here you find a negative voltage of 20 volts and this variable resistor gives a grid 9 here <coughs> Sorry. negative voltage the signal is transported from the uh, anode to the input grid of the pentode by means of this capacitor. This is 570 nanofarads or 0.57 microfarad or 0.47 microfarad, it doesn't matter much. This value decides how much bass you will hear from your loudspeaker. When you take a low value, 10 nanofarad for instance, you don't hear much bass. This is the filament voltage. It's in this case 6.3 volts. Uh, but if, of course if you use another tube, uh, it can be another, uh, it can have another value. And uh, keep in mind that it has to be pure direct current. This tube is designed for AC on the filament, but I always use direct current because uh, otherwise you will hear much hum and it is not easy to uh, take this sort of hum away. So if you know, if you don't know how to build a pure um, DC voltage without hum, uh, read my book Schematics 1. There are um, uh, schematics uh, in which you can see how to create a pure DC voltage without hum. You can also watch my channel on YouTube. There's also a video about uh, a hum-free power supply. This is the input circuit. This is the input capacitor uh, 0 0.33 microfarad. Input resistor is 10 kilo, uh, kilo uh, uh, ohms. This is 10 nanofarad. I use this capacitor to prevent oscillations. I saw that there were oscillations in the tube when I did not uh, connect this capacitor. In fact, it means that the high frequencies are not amplified very well. And you could also see this in the first video. But um, I think it's good enough uh, to use and um, it has a good sound. I think this um, amplifier. This is a resistor of 18 kilo ohms, 18,000 ohms. Here you see the circuit uh, on the top of the tube. From 8 here goes a resistor of 2K7, uh, uh, 2700 ohms to the supply voltage, the anode voltage. And this is a variable capacitor of 250 kilo ohms. When the um, amplifier is aligned, uh, you can take for this variable resistor uh, a fixed value resistor. Take it totally out, measure it and take a fixed value resistor. The anode voltage should be absolutely free of hum. Uh, that's a very important thing, otherwise you will hear a disturbing hum. 
So that means that you need a capacitor of 4000 microfarad at approximately 300 volts. This is a circuit to create this. It's a bridge rectifier. Always take a fuse here. It's a necessary. And here you should take uh, a sufficient capacitor, electrolytic capacitor. And um, when you don't have a capacitor of 4000 microfarad, you can switch two capacitors in series. For instance, if this was a capacitor of 1000 microfarad, and this also 1000 microfarad at 100 volts, both 100 volts, uh, you can use this for 200 volts here, but you have to divide the capacitance, so it's 470 microfarad in series, but the combination can withstand 200 volts. Here you see the formula. The capacitance is divided, but the voltage goes up. Also, uh, good to know, in a bridge rectifier, the AC voltage here uh, changes in a DC voltage, but the DC voltage is always uh, 1.4 times multiplicated. So if you have AC 120 volts, you will find DC 168 volts on the capacitor. So take the good and the right value for the voltage here. Okay, uh, that's all about this uh, schematic. I wish you luck and hope you will succeed in building this. Perhaps when you uh, take a higher anode voltage, uh, you will hear uh, more um, audio, the, the volume will be bigger. And also, when you take a real transformer here, a real audio transformer that's designed to operate with a tube. Of course, also when you take a higher voltage, take the working voltage of these capacitors here higher. Wish you luck again.